Hello, I'm Michelle and welcome to Somewhere in Bookland. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the book Star Touch Stories by Roshani Chachki. I was given a free e-arc of this book off of NetGalley in exchange for an honest review and I am also part of the blog tour for blog vlog tour for this book. So let's just get on into it. So this book is a collection of three short stories that are written in the world of the Star Touch Queen and A Crown of Wishes. Now while you don't technically I guess have to read the books before, it would be a lot helpful if you did read both books before. Otherwise you would be completely lost, I think, personally. Now these three stories consist of Death and Night, Poison and Gold, and Rose and Sword. Roshani Chachki's writing is always very beautifully written and I say that having only read so far her Star Touch Queen and A Crown of Wishes books, I do own a couple other of her books but I haven't read them yet. I have started one of them and it too is beautifully written. She just has a very kind of like not poetic really but it just very vivid writing where I can just picture what she's talking about very easily. Now I was really excited to get an arc of this book because I was really excited to see these stories, these untold stories from these books and just to get a little more time, a little bit more time with the characters. Now Death and Night was originally published as a standalone novella by itself so you might have read that already at one point. But unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure Poison and Gold and Roads and Sword, these are the first publication of these so the first time we get to see them. Now Death and Night is more of a prequel instead of a 2.5 it's more of a 0.5 and it comes before the Star Touched Queen and it is the beginning of the love story that we further explore in the Star Touched Queen. This is a story we hear about in that book but we never really see the whole thing of. This short story really helped me understand Death's character more in the Star Touch Queen and why he was the way he was. See, Death is afraid to fall in love because he's cursed, so he's vowed never to do so. But then he meets Knight and realizes that he has no control over whether or not he's going to fall in love. I loved watching Death and Knight grow to know each other and grow to fall for each other and let their guards down between each other. I also really enjoyed seeing the gifts that Death makes for Knight because we get to see them in the Star Touch Queen, so I liked seeing their origin. Plus, also, they're just sound so beautiful, just the way they're described, and I can, they, they just sound beautiful. Now, Poison and Gold follows more of the Crown of Wishes story, which was my favorite of the two, so I was really excited to see this story more than Death and Night. I really liked this story because I wanted to delve further into Gauri and Vikram's story and this one is in that realm but it follows more of Asha's character. Now Asha's character is beginning to train for this position called Spy Mistress and she is going to be the spy, if she passes, she'll be the spy mistress to Gari and Vikram. But while doing this, she's also battling the fear that she is no longer in control of her deadly powers. Like, literally deadly. I had grown to like Asha's character in the previous book and this book was no different. Even though it is a short story, I think we really got a chance to see Asha's character grow. She starts to become more sure of herself and even allows herself to start possibly falling for someone. Now the story in the book was actually my least favorite of the three stories. I did find it to be a little slower in the beginning than the other ones, but I still loved it nonetheless. And if Rashani was to make this into a full length novel, I would definitely read it. The last story was Rose and Sword and this one definitely hit me in the feelings. I definitely want to see more of these characters, especially Gauri and Vikram story, but in this one Gauri is a grandma and is telling a st one of her and Vikram's stories to her granddaughter. And just seeing her be a grandma just made me realize that this is the end 
for these characters. I did think that this was a perfect ending to A Crown of Wishes because that one was left a little more open and so I think this just kind of helped um, end it very nicely. And we got to see the love of Gauri and Vikram in this one and it was my favorite of the three. Overall, I really do think Rashani is such a beautiful writer and I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars and I would definitely recommend it to everybody.